What's up everybody, Greg here with Lens Pro to Go and Lens Rentals, and in this video, we're gonna be doing another cinematography lighting breakdown. Last weekend, I was able to help out on an indie feature film called The Hill and the Hole, directed by Bill Darman and DP'd by Chris Ernst. If you guys wanna see more about that and see the trailer, there'll be links to it in the description below. But they were kind enough to let me take some of the footage that we shot and use it as a lighting breakdown and some of the behind the scenes to show all of you. So without further ado, let's roll the footage and then get into the breakdown. Okay, so the shot that we're gonna break down and take a look at is this one here where he's sitting over the box and then these guys come in and grab him and pull him up off of that. I really like how this shot ended up coming out. We have some really nice top-down soft light as well as some directional key on his face falling off into some shadow on the side. So before we get into the actual breakdown and talking about what lights we used, let's take a look at our camera settings. So we shot on the Ari Alexa Mini, which you can see right here on the left side of the screen. We shot in Ari Raw Open Gate 4x3 for the anamorphic. Our white balance was 5600 and our ISO was 800, which are both changeable because we shot in that raw format. And then we shot on the Cook 2X anamorphics, 75 millimeters, and we were at a 284 split somewhere right around in there. So here is a full behind the scene shot so you can see everything that's going on. We got a light right here bouncing up into the ceiling. We have another light very similar doing the same thing in the back. This is just giving some ambient lift to the whole scene. Then we have these Draycast lights which are just giving these spot beams down on our talent. And this is throughout the whole space so you see them walking in and out in some of the other shots. And then right behind this guy there's another light. Let me see if I have another shot. There is this tube right here. This is the digital Sputnik Voyager, which we're using as our key for our subject. So we're going to be jumping back and forth between the actual footage and our behind the scenes shot. So I can point out a light and then I'll tell you what it's doing to our image. So the first light that we're going to talk about is this one right over here, which is a Felix Q1000. This light is balanced to 4,500 degrees Kelvin and our white balance is at 5,600. So we're getting a little bit of a warmer light. So if we go to the actual shot, what we're seeing is this nice rim light coming down on the back of his shoulders. And it's also giving us a little bit of ambient lift of the bookshelves over here, the chairs, the tables, the desks, all of that stuff. Just a general fill light for the shot. Next up, we'll take a look at this light way back here. And this is the Felix Matrix light. And this is doing something very similar to the Q1000. So we just have it bouncing directly up into the ceiling and it's giving a nice ambient fill to the back of the scene. So if we take a look at this shot as he stands up, you're seeing all the books over here and in the background, that's what that matrix light is doing is just giving that ambient lift to the whole scene. Along with both of the Felix matrix light, we also have these three Draycasts that are in the ceiling. And again, this is just giving some ambient feel. It's not really for this shot, it's more for the profile shot where they're walking in and out of these beams of light. So that first shot that I show, that's sort of what these lights are doing but we left them on because it does add that ambient lift. And you can see a little bit of that light coming down on this guy standing in the back. And then the last light that we have set up, which is our key light, is the Digital Sputnik Voyager. This is the two foot one and it's balanced to 4,500 Kelvin as well, just like the Felix and the overhead Draycast lights. And in the shot, this is being our main key light. That light is coming in from the right side of frame and giving us a really nice soft wrapping light around our subject. Because it's a tube, it is a longer source of light. So you get that same wrapping effect that you would if you're shooting through a diffusion. So I think that's pretty much it for this shot. Just a quick recap. We have the Felix shooting up into the ceiling and bouncing for our foreground fill. We have a Felix matrix in the background doing the same thing, but for our background, we have those three Draycasts overhead, again, adding those sort of beams coming down of light. And then we have the two foot digital Sputnik Voyager, which we're using as our key light. And that gives us that really soft wrapping light, placing it just outside of frame. And that's gonna wrap it up for this cinematography lighting breakdown. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one and got something out of it. If you wanna see all of the gear that we used, I'm gonna leave links to all of it in the description below. And if you have any questions about this shot or any of the other ones that I showed in the intro, feel free to leave those in the comments. And if you like this series and wanna see more lighting breakdowns, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for new videos every single week, and I'll see you in the next one.